some shoots, I wish I could go back and I wish I could have never done them. But sometimes, I guess you have to mess up. Bella Hadid went from denying she has done any plastic surgery to admitting that she got a nose job at the age of 14. Yikes! So the big question is, did Yolanda Hadid force Bella to get a nose job at 14? Why did Yolanda make Bella feel like the ugly sister growing up? How did this turn to an unhealthy comparison between Bella and her sister Gigi Hadid? So their bodies are big and bulky and I mean, they eat like, like men. Back in 2022, in an interview with Vogue, Bella opened up about her private life and mental health issues growing up. She has been quite open in the past about her diagnosis of Lyme disease, which left her feeling exhausted and nauseous for days. Back in November 2022, Bella posted a series of photos featuring images of her crying, opening out about her extreme depression. This is pretty much my every day, every night for a few years. Now, social media is not real. For anyone struggling, please remember that sometimes all you got to hear is that you're you're not alone. So from me to you, you are not alone. In the interview with Vogue, Vela talked more about her mental health, saying she was incredibly insecure, body shame, she got an eating disorder, she hated to be touched and had intense social anxiety. That led her to question why she got into the modeling industry in the first place. She also revealed Yolanda always saw Gigi as the better sister, making her feel worse. And then you gotta get back on your diet though. And then you gotta get back on your diet though. She even confessed back in high school a psychiatrist prescribed Adderall, which is a direct stimulant on the central nervous system. People commented on everything, how I looked, how I dressed, how I talked, but I never cancelled or missed a job. So at least no one can say I didn't work hard. I think my biggest fear is not living up to my fullest potential of what I know that I can do or what other people expect of me, I guess. When asked about how she overcame everything, she said that over the years she became a good actress and just put on a big smile or a strong face, even though she always felt like she was doing something wrong and that she had to prove her value. Another thing that came up in the interview was Bella's plastic surgeries over the years. Rumors and speculations of plastic surgery started back in 2014 when Bella turned 18 and started attending Hollywood events. People started to compare pictures from before and noticed some changes in her face. Liars. The bump on the bridge of her nose disappeared and the upper lip seemed to be pumped up. A year later, fans were talking about how Bella's skin was unbelievably flawless and the fact that her facial features were perfectly symmetrical. Then in 2017, Bella's face didn't seem as round anymore and the cheekbones were incredibly visible. Fans were sure that she got fillers. Bella denied having any work done in an interview with InStyle where she said, people think I got all the surgery or did this or that and you know what, we could do a scan of my face. Face, darling, I'm scared of putting fillers onto my lips. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. For some fans, it was pretty obvious she was lying. A fan commented, Bella denying her plastic surgery is so sad. Her nose job is a masterpiece. I would shout it from the rooftops. Bella's face was so perfect that she was declared the most beautiful woman based on the ancient Greek's golden ratio of beauty idea of perfection. In order to calculate this golden number of beauty, a calculated measurement of the size and position of eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, chin, and jaw are done. Bella Hadid ranked highest with a result of 94.35% of symmetry, above Beyonce with 92.44% and Amber Heard with 91.85%. Experts have shared their opinion over the years and most of them came to the same conclusion. One of them told Life and Style in December 2020, Miss Hadid appears to have had fillers to enhance her cheek structure, undergone a rhinoplasty and received lip fillers to accentuate her lip volume. Dr. Skullman said, her jawline is more defined and her cheeks are less full. This can be achieved with buckle fat, pad reduction or removals of some fat from the cheeks. Her chin is more prominent and may be the result of a chin implant as well. However, after all these allegations, Bella finally admitted after years of denial that she did have a nose job at the age of 14. She also told Vogue she wished she had kept the nose of her ancestors. I think I would have grown into it. Bella denied doing other surgeries, adding, I have never used fillers, let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it but it's not for me whoever thinks i have gotten my eyes lifted or whatever it's called it's face tape the oldest trick in the book i have had this imposter syndrome where people made me feel like i didn't deserve any of this people always have something to say but what i have to say is i have always been misunderstood in my industry and by the people around me 
People soon started to sympathize and feel sorry for Bella after hearing she wished she had kept her nose. At this point, I turned to the parents and people started blaming them, especially the mother Yolanda Hadid because at the age of 14, there was no way Bella gave consent for plastic surgery, so it had to come from her parents. Fans started to expose Yolanda where an old interview with Ellie magazine surfaced where she was saying she would never let her kids work as models before they were 18 because she didn't want anybody judging them on what they look like and she wanted them to feel safe and be authentic human beings. Eee, that was obviously not true because Gigi Hadid started modeling at the age of three. She was just a baby then and Bella admitted that her mom consented to her nose job. People were just beyond shocked and mad and started calling out Yolanda for using her kids to achieve fame. Yolanda pursued it. Bella to get plastic surgery when she was literally just a child and unaware of consequences and she wasn't even done growing. Her features could have changed a lot. Fans started to talk about how Yolanda always favored Gigi as a better sister and that started an unhealthy comparison between Gigi and Bella. It possibly pushed them into getting cosmetic work done. Bella talked about how this affected her confidence significantly. I just have to remind myself that she's been doing this forever. I can't keep comparing myself to her because we're so different, but people still love to compare us what's better about her and what's not that's good about me. And it's hard because people are really mean, but I'm her biggest supporter and she's my biggest supporter. We are not competitive at all. Bella clarified that if one of them got booked on a job and one of them got it, they would just both be happy for each other. During the interview with Vogue, Bella also opened up again about the comparison between her and her sister. She revealed that during her younger years, she felt like the uglier sister being compared to Gigi by people around them. She was more of the introvert sister, she felt like the ugly brunette, she wasn't as cool as Gigi, not as outgoing, and that's really what people said about her. Unfortunately, when Bella heard these things over and over again, she started to believe it. One fan pointed out on Twitter, I honestly feel so sad for Bella because she always talks about growing up. She always felt like a black sheep outsider in her family while also feeling bad about herself. And for Yolanda to basically confirm her thoughts by letting her get a nose job at 14 is so horrible. Another person added, Yolanda Hadid is literally going to see the deepest pits of Hellbar for making Bella think she was the ugly sister to the point where she got a nose job at 14 years old. And the fact that she is saying she regrets it now, it's so sad. I have to have a bite for good luck though. Um, but not too big. No, that's too big. The half of that. This is, this is you. One thing's for sure, Bella regrets getting the nose job and Yolanda consent for it, but did Yolanda push her to get more plastic surgeries? Well, judging by Yolanda's action from the past with the cake incident, the almond incident, and the volleyball incident, when Yolanda banned Gigi from playing volleyball, we got an obvious answer, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. I would want people to remember me as truth and of light and compassionate and passionate. The love that I give, I guess.